Hi everyone, this is Mike. In the many training sessions, webinars, and events that I've led over the last few years, I've had the opportunity to walk hundreds of people through the process of learning to use Logos Bible software and its tools. One of the things that I've noticed over time is that there are basic features of Logos that pretty much everyone I encounter doesn't realize are available. I want to show you the top five of these features and how they can save you time when doing your study with Logos if you know how to use them. Number five, launch guides faster by collapsing all sections. You can adjust all of your guides to open with all of their sections closed. The reason that we would want to do this is to improve the performance of Logos on our machine, not to mention that I think it also looks cleaner as well. Whenever you run a new guide report, every section in that guide is a separate search that is running simultaneously. If you run a passage guide report, this will result in over 20 searches running. This has the possibility to bog your machine down, as well as cause other areas of the software to open slower. When the sections are collapsed, the searches are paused until the section is expanded. This will allow you as the user to control when a search is being run and when it is not. You can also focus in on the data that is pertinent to you, rather than see large amounts at one time. To do this, simply collapse every section by right-clicking in one of the section headers and select Collapse All. Now when you close your guide, the next time you open it, Logos will remember how you last left it. If you run searches from the home page, this will vastly improve the performance of the load times on your layouts. For instance, look how long it takes to access your commentaries with all the sections expanded. Now look how long it takes with them all closed. Here he comes, here comes the racer, he's a demon on wheels. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. Number four, right and left arrow keys move between parallel resources. With a resource panel open, you can quickly move through parallel resources using your right and left arrow keys. This is extremely helpful when using Bibles and commentaries. With the ESV and the Bible Knowledge Commentary open, I can select either resource panel as the active panel and hit the right and left arrow keys to move through the resource in its parallel resource set. You can also click on the parallel resource set button in the panel toolbar to skip directly to another resource in that set. Number three, at startup, open a recent or blank layout. When I close all of the panels in my active layout, I like to start again with a blank layout. I have found through training that many other Logos users feel this way too. However, by default, Logos opens the home page whenever the software starts up or comes to a blank layout. You can change this behavior in Logos by going up to the Tools menu, select Program Settings. In the Program Settings menu, look at the first item in the menu called At Startup Open To. The option probably says Home. You can change this instead to a blank layout or to open up the most recent layout you had open. Every other option other than home will leave your layout blank when you close everything. Number two, primary and secondary organization in the library and documents menu. One of my favorite ways to organize my library and my documents in Logos is by type. However, Sometimes I want to have a second level or even a third level organization scheme along with this. We can easily do this by holding down the shift key when setting these secondary organizations. Open the library and make sure the view is set to details view and that you have the column headers for type and series visible. Click on the column header for type to organize by type of resource. Hold down the shift key and click on the column header in the series column. This will now organize our library secondarily by series. Notice if we open the section titled Bible Commentaries, it's now organized within this section by the series of the commentary. We can do the same thing in our Documents menu as well. My preferred organization is by type first, then by date. 
Lastly, my number one little known feature in Logos is adding a close all command to the shortcuts bar. This is a shortcut that I use multiple times every day. If we run a search from the home page or have a custom built layout with a number of resources open at one time, it can be a hassle to close each of these individually. We can quickly and efficiently clear our workspace by using a command called close all. This command becomes even more powerful when we link it to a shortcut in the shortcuts bar. To do this, go to the command bar and type close all. In the drop down menu that appears, click and drag the command from the drop down into the shortcuts bar. Now, whenever we want to clear our workspace, we can click this shortcut to do so. Those were my top five little known but incredibly helpful features of Logos Bible software. Are there any that you feel would have been better on this list? Let me know about them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel to make sure that you don't miss out on what's new. As always, enjoy mining the depths of scripture as you use the tools and logos. Until next time.